Hi, I'm Mark Ramsey from The Leaf, the Lewis Educational Agriculture Farm. And I'm John Duffy. I'm the Science Curriculum Coordinator for Southington. Uh, a shout out to my South End friends where my office is. Uh, go South End. <laughs> and go all you kids at home that are doing virtual learning. You guys are doing a great job. In all of our, our kindergartners, our second graders, we'd all be doing some planting now. And, and Farmer Mark would be helping us out by showing up at our schools to plant our gardens. You'd be planting your seeds in the classroom. And we can't do that at this point in time, but we thought we could bring Farmer Mark to you and maybe do some of our planting and learning about planting and farming right here at LEAF. What we are gonna do though is, in this, during the summertime, later on in the summer, we are gonna plant your gardens for you. So when you guys get back to school in the fall, you will still have a garden. So my family has been farming in Southington for 230 years. I'm the seventh generation of my family to do it. So that means that my great, great, great grandfather started the farm. That's really great. So at The Leaf, we grow a lot of vegetables. I hope you guys eat your vegetables. They're good for you. We start all our own seeds. We have animals on the farm and we do a lot of educational stuff. So some of you guys have been out here before. Some of you will come out on field trips. When you're in sixth and seventh grade, we'll see all you guys. And we hope next year to get a lot of our kindergarten, first and second graders out here on tours of the farm so you can actually be here in person rather than just seeing us on camera. We work really hard, but it's a really fun place to visit. There's a lot of stuff to do and see. So we're going to take you guys on a little bit of a tour, show you what we do, and uh, hopefully you guys will have some questions and we'll answer your questions. My great grandfather and my grandfather built this building 100 years ago. It's kind of a cool old building. The bricks they used to build this building actually came from the old town hall. When they tore the town hall down, they bought the bricks and repurposed it. And the story that I've gotten through the years is that they built it for a penny a brick. So if any of you guys want to stop out here and start counting the bricks, you can figure out how much it costs to, co to build this building. You'd be the first one to do it. So this building we're standing in, if, is our cold storage building. So what it is, is it's like a giant refrigerator. It has these big rooms off to the side that have a compressor and this, the, the, all the vegetables go in these, these rooms and they're kept cool. So different vegetables like to be kept at different temperatures. Um, this room here, we use for like squash, peppers. The other room is a little bit warmer so we put our tomatoes and eggplant in that room. And the room on the other side we use for onions and dry stuff. The old doors on the back of the building and the front of the building came off the old trolley barn when they took the trolley barn down. So these are originally from Southington, repurposed, used, still used today. We were repurposing before it was even cool. We've always been green. We are in greenhouse number four. In this greenhouse, we've got tomatoes growing, we've got artichokes, we've got eggplant, we've got all kinds of stuff growing, even strawberries. The reason we need greenhouses in, in the Northeast is that we have to start our plants real early. We start them in February, March, and April before they can go out in the field. We need to be able to heat the, heat the soil up, heat the, the, the seeds up so they start to germinate. One of the things we have in our greenhouses, we have furnaces. They're oil-fired furnaces. We have a couple that are propane. We need to create a temperature inside the greenhouse that's between 65 and 70 degrees, 75 degrees when they're, when they're germinating. The way that our greenhouse works, it's covered in plastic. The rays of the sunlight come in during the daytime, bounce around inside the greenhouse. You can't see them, but they're moving around in here and they're actually creating heat. The heat stays in the greenhouse because there's a piece of plastic on it. So this is called the greenhouse effect. So in the greenhouse, this time of year, it's still pretty cool outside. The honeybees aren't flying too much. So we actually will bring in boxes of bumblebees because they have to pollinate in this greenhouse. It will be peas, tomatoes. So the bumblebees will actually pollinate the greenhouse. On a cold day, it's all closed up. There's no windows and doors open. So the bees that are outside can't get into it. So we have to actually put bees in the greenhouse for pollinization.
on the farm, nothing goes to waste. All of our soil, all of our organic matter, which is anything green, all goes in our compost pile. You can see there's soil in here. All this will turn to compost. So the way composting works is we build this big pile. This pile will be bigger than me. We'll have to flip it with a tractor. The heat on the inside, the microbes on the inside start to break everything down. So we have to keep flipping it so it keeps getting broken down. After a year, we'll put this back on the field. It will act like fertilizer. It'll build our soil back up. So composting is great for your soil. It's one of the ways we feed our vegetables. It's healthier than using fertilizers. It's the natural way to, to put minerals back into the, into the soil. If you notice, the plants are planted in nice straight rows. The reason for this is so we can cultivate them. Cultivating, we take a, a tractor and it has special fingers on the back and it comes down, it disturbs the soil. And what that does is it won't let the weeds grow in the soil. The reason we don't want any weeds in the soil, we don't want them to compete with the vegetable plants. If we get a lot of weeds out here, they might grow faster than the vegetables and we won't get vegetables. So we don't want the weeds to grow in the field. Eventually the vegetables will grow up and cover most of the soil and at that point we won't have weeds anymore. But until then we have to cultivate. We cultivate with tractors, we cultivate with hand hose. So we'll have guys out here hoeing the soil, disturbing the soil so the weeds don't grow. So the chickens at the leaf lay eggs. Do you guys know what came first, the chicken or the egg? Let's see if this girl has any, any eggs underneath her. Look at that, she's sitting on everybody's eggs. She didn't lay all those eggs. Those were, each chicken will lay one egg a day, roughly. Um, on average, a chicken will lay 260 eggs in a year. So she's being a good mom. She laid all these eggs. She's talking. Yeah, tell us about it. What do you got to say? Can you talk some more? Yeah. She's giving me the answer to which came first, the chicken or the egg. You guys are going to have to figure that out. I'm not going to tell you. She knows. I know. You figure it out. <laughs>